The federal government has charged more than 40 people in a massive crackdown on political corruption and money laundering schemes. Most of the people are New Jersey politicians and public officials, as well as leaders of the Jewish community in Deal and Brooklyn. New Jersey's corruption problem is one of the worst, if not the worst, in the nation. Corruption is not only pervasive, it has become ingrained in New Jersey's political culture. This case uncovered a web of corruption that spanned the state, similar to the way a spider's web might cover your face if you accidentally walk into it. The people that we have arrested today include mayors, deputy mayors, New Jersey state assemblymen, city councilmen, city council candidates, and a variety of other public officials ranging from commissioners to regulatory inspectors, and of course, a number of rabbis from the Jewish community. The list of people we arrested sounds like it should be the roster for a meeting of community leaders. But sadly, they weren't meeting in a boardroom this morning. They were in the FBI booking room. The star of this investigation is the collaborating witness, a CW in cop speak, who is only identified as a businessman and real estate developer who worked with the government for the last few years. I don't donate, I invest the CW would say in meetings, in parking lots, at restaurants, luncheonettes, diners, offices, basement boiler rooms, and bathrooms. And the politicians willingly put themselves up for sale. Hundreds of thousands in bribes were paid in those places. Our CW routinely had his proposed projects moved to the top of some official's pile because he paid off. Hoboken Mayor Peter Camerano was arrested only three weeks after taking office. He broke the world down into three. People with us, you guys. People who climbed on board in the runoff, they have to get in line. And people who were against us the whole way, they get ground into powder. On June 23rd, when the CW offered $10,000, Mr. Camerano says, great. And we're going to be friends for a long time. Corruption is a cancer that is destroying the core values that this state and this great nation was founded upon. Fifteen people are charged with running money laundering rings that stretch from Deal to Brooklyn to Israel. Five of those people are rabbis. These complaints paint a disgraceful picture of religious leaders heading money laundering crews acting as crime bosses. In about two years, these defendants laundered over three